Okay, so this speaking tip is like speaking 101. Keep it simple. Or some people call it kiss. Keep it simple. And for me, I just say keep it simple for me. Like, in particular, if you don't know who you're going to go and speak to. So if you're going to do, well, you should really know who you're going to speak to before you put a speech together. That do not make no sense. But if you're going to go, say, like, for example, you're going to go and cover in for someone, you need to keep everything simple so that even like your little cute five-year-old nephew, he can even understand, all right? So let me explain. You need to know your own topic in detail, but you don't need to give all of the detail out at once in like a 20 or 30 or 40 minute podcast or a training session or webinar. Does that make sense? Because you can't just heave all of your 20 or 30 years of experience into 40 minutes. It's impossible. So that's what you've got to really understand. You've got to give like the kind of highlighted versions or key points of the last five years or just the point in bits that your audience needs to understand. So let me give you an example, right? Just for myself, all right? Um, you got to imagine that you're talking to someone like, okay, let me do my favorite topic. Okay, so let's say you were asked to do a video because I've got some clients who are like online chefs. Some of them are online vegan Caribbean chefs. Oh my gosh, let me give you this example. So imagine you're going to be talking to someone who they need to know you're going to do a webinar on how to make chicken and rice. Okay, let's keep it simple. So of course, um, you are going to be showing the products but you've got to go from the basics. So don't kind of start, start at the end with the Dutch pot and all the seasoning and all the food all cooked down in it. No, because you've got to start from the beginning and keep it simple, okay? So say, for example, you might have to do the basics like buy chicken, wash chicken, season chicken, fry it a little bit, brown it, you know, put it into the, you know, all of these different things. You might have to kind of do kind of baby or bite-sized chunks so that your, the people who are watching your cooking webinar will know. And I like with food ones, you don't have to talk too much. The food I find does the cooking, but you do have to add and explain. I can put in a teaspoon of this, two scoops of that, etc. You've got to kind of explain the quantities. Okay. So that lady who cooks, oh my gosh, I love, I love food. Right. So um, what you've got to think of, right, is um, make sure that your talk leaves your listeners informed rather than overwhelmed. Because if you've overwhelmed them, overwhelmed them even you've said too much and it's just kind of gone over their head and they haven't really taken much apart from it's all too much for me okay you don't want people feeling like it's too much no you want to feel that that gift they've got enough to help them right there and then and they've been interested in maybe spending more time with you on another one-to-one call or another webinar or whatever extra coaching things you give so keeping with my um online chef here because the food is banging um she has got to be able to teach now obviously she can cook a wealth of stuff but you've got to narrow it down like what do these people need to know how to cook chicken and rice you know as i've said get prepare cook season cook the chicken then you'll do a bit of vegetables uh, and then you'll kind of do the rice so she's got to kind of do off in the basics and she puts the complex thing first and you've got to really pretend like um that you're speaking to like even like your cute as i said your cute five-year-old nephew so that like even he needs to understand everything so there's no point using jargon um i know for myself as well don't talk fast i know i know i say it to myself as well um even though you have a lot to share you don't have to share everything you your life is not going to work properly eh? life is not going to end right then and then um so you've always got to remember whether you're going to do this online webinar you're going to give out training about build your brand or it could be your person who's speaking training a webinar online chef or like myself i teach women in business corporate or who've got a side hustle how to speak more effectively in that business format so with me i could have a i don't know like a one-to-one training call 60 minutes there's no way i can get all how many years in 60 minutes into this person it's impossible because if it's taken 20 years for me or someone else to get all that experience and knowledge it's it's no way going to transfer within 60 minutes or whatever or even into one book there's always something more that you want to add yeah so you got to think what can i so the the talk or the webinar or for me like a one-to-one that's not my opportunity to tell them everything that i know Mm -mm. it's a chance to me to use 30 or 40 minutes of like a one-to-one call or a webinar training session to share within that time what i can give them 
to help them with that problem that they've got, which could be someone's trying to um, negotiate, going to get an appraisal and they're a bit, uh, bit weary about how to do it. What are the key things I can give them within 30 or 40 minutes on that call uh, to prepare them, their mind, what they're going to say, envision it, come up with the goal, etc. That's what I have to give them. Not everything that I know. And that's where some people make the mistakes and that they could be a great speaker, but they just say too much. Like, and some of the greatest speakers, they don't always say stuff. They're not always talking, 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 talking. They know what the listener needs to hear and how they need to hear it and how much of it they need to hear. Does that make sense? There's a difference. So as I said, keep it simple. Only give what your listener can manage, right? Keep it very, very simple. And a podcast or a video or a webinar or a training or whatever it is, it's not your chance to leave your whole heart on it, right? I mean, give your heart, but don't leave your whole heart and your whole information there. Um, have a plan of what you're going to say, what knowledge you're listening to here. So example, go back to the chicken and rice. Um, my uh, client who is an online cooking chef, she needs to make sure that at the end of that kind of seven minute video, it's kind of sped up in places that the people who are watching will know that they have to prepare the chicken in this way. They need to prepare the vegetables in this way and they need to steam the rice in this way. And then they'll have a meal of chicken and rice, okay? So you've got to think like, what does the listener need to hear? And how can I, how can I give them what they need to hear within the time block that I've got without overwhelming them? Just giving them the essential, you know, one, two kind of thing. Give them what they need, not all that you know. There's a huge, huge difference in that and that's what I think sometimes sometimes women struggle because they over over talk overthink then over talk don't do that nah, uh, 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 uh. okay so that's what I wanted to say keep it simple in particular for me I like stuff very very simple clear okay because your listener can only really handle a certain amount and once it's gone to overwhelm you've mucked it up Trust me, you're not going to be as seen as effective or even a very skilled speaker once you've done that. I'm not saying it cannot be rescued, yeah, but I'm just saying give a little bit as much as your listener can manage, yeah? Don't over-teach, don't over-preach it, don't over-overdo it. Just think who's your listener and what do they need to know within the time frame that you've been given, all right? So I hope that's helped you. Keep whatever it is you're saying very, very simple.